Hello, Kit Heads. We are talking Kit, the home of the greatest football kit content in the whole entire world. Yes, you've guessed it. It's Wednesday. It's around about 9.30, so it means one thing and one thing only. We're back in the rank bank. We've kicked open the doors. We've grabbed 10 shirts. And we're bringing them here for you for another episode of Full Kit Rankers. It's what we do every single week. I am, of course, double A. Him down there is uh, GK Sean. Why have you got rid of the one, Sean? Because I've been castigated for it for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, no, all Did, I'm saying is... N- numbers? No. Just update your Twitter name if you're going to have the one. It makes sense to have the one if you're a GK. I've retired the one. Does that mean you retired from the game? No, I never retired. <laughs> never. Number. You, you, you still think you're going to get a call at Fringley, don't you? Mate, ben there's always, there's, there's always people, always people watching, aren't they? Buffon forty-five. Learned a fact. Did you, I, I read a fact to you yeah, yesterday. Yeah, you say Buffon forty-five, but he, he played when he was like eighteen. He, he's been professional. He's not like all of a sudden become a professional <laughs> yeah. at forty-five, mate. It's you know he's played a bit before. Yeah, but whilst we're still on that, if Italy would have qualified for twenty eighteen World Cup, right? He'd yeah. have been present in six World Cup squads. Yeah, but. He, he didn't, so he wasn't. So it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's just saying. A... Yeah. Unfortunately for him. But, you know, who knows? Maybe there's a scout watching. Are you still playing for the uh, Glossop Tropics? The, the Glossop Tropics, yeah. yeah. We're taking our team abroad as well. Oh, the um, the Stag do. Yeah, yeah playing cool. against uh, the Bundesliga, Bundesliga 4 side, actually. Ooh. What, what team? Oh, I can't remember the name. So it's really long. Like Gelsenkirchen, Nurschenkirchen or something like that. Um, <laughs> a lot, But they're a feeder club for Werder Bremen. Oh, um, you're going to get dicked. You're going to so, get absolutely dicked. So uh, I'm going to buy a GoPro, I think. <laughs> That'll stop the goals going in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, instead of being Ben Foster, you could be Ben Adopter, maybe. Have that as your little name. Yeah, could be. Okay, all right. I'm just here. I'm throwing out. I'm throwing ideas out here. I don't know. Spitballing. Well, good, good, good luck. Good luck. Um, when is it you going to Germany again? Uh, in June. June. Oh, so it's it's a like a, so we're warming them up for pre-season, getting them ready for the new season. Really. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they'll be they'll be, <laughs> they'll be in your form and everything. Oh, we need to watch out for that GK Sean. Jerry's Six, dropped eight. the one. Jerry's, Jerry's dropped the one yeah. from his. Oh, no, no way. He's got a GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> 16 points in. I, I'm expecting an absolutely shit up uh, vlog then, mate, because it'll be on this channel if you do one. So I want pre match, right. the match, post match, everything. There'll be months before as well, because I'm going to start, tra- I'm going to try and film the training. No, stick, just oh. stick, to the, stick to the game. That's all I'm bothered about, really. You're training, I don't care. I I, no, I mean, some people might. Me personally, I'm, I'm okay. That's all right with you. Yeah, fine. Oh no, I feel like I broke his spirit. No, do you know what? Throw a bit no, of get, in, get, get involved. You're originally invited to come. So yeah, I, I can't make it unfortunately. Well, getting you can just train or keep us on our toes and stuff. Getting because right. we're doing a we're doing like every week we're going getting accustomed to each other on the pitch. I mean, that sounds weird. Um, but okay, is <laughs> a stagger. Is a stag after all in it? I guess. Right, let's move Should on. Move on. Yeah, let, let's do it. Well, good luck against Gelken, Kirken, Schmirken, Lurken, whatever they call it. I don't know. Um, Dom is here as well. Kicking Dom. Hi, mate. <laughs> right. Is it? Um, um, are you playing against any lower league teams anytime soon? What have you got going on? Well, like in the Bundesliga Fump. Uh, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Not that low. <laughs> uh, got enough games going on. However, I'm, I'm eagerly awaiting this release of the training. Uh, yeah. The training, well, the game, not so much training. I'm all about that. I want to see Sean. You can't even kick it long anymore, can you? You have to get your defenders to do it, don't you? No, that's the modern <laughs> game. That's the modern game. I, I, I was up in the back. I preempted what was going on. Yeah. And I <laughs> couldn't kick past the six yard box. Yeah, everyone <laughs> listening or watching, it wasn't Pep who changed the English game. It was Sean, Sean Lee, GK Sean. Um, but no, back to Dom. We've, we've, we've had your Phil. Uh, yeah, Dom. Yes. How's your week been, mate? How's everything? Oh, good. Um, I think I've contracted whatever you had 
last week digitally. Um, yeah. And I feel like shit. But we, we uh, as, as to kind of phrase, we move. Like we, we will persevere and we, yeah. will, uh, we will crack on, as it were. I promise not to kiss you on the mouth again. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's our introductions done. I'm okay, by the way. I'm, 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 um, but yeah, let's get into this week's show. It's another great lineup of shirts and, and a great guest as well. We'll get into the shirts a little bit later on. Uh, but our guest uh, this evening and, and for this show uh, is, is, I'd like to say, a, a fanatic. That's probably the best word. To 100%. Um, you know, it's one of those people you see in a good way. I'm going to say tweet a lot, but in a good way, not one of them people like, oh, Matt, tweeting again, get a job or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? She tweets a lot about football, about kits, about everything. And I'm reading the, reading the Twitter bio. I'll just read the Twitter bio because it seems like she's got a lot going on. I'm surprised she's managed to fit in an hour or so with us, to be fair. So if she's an Asian football fanatic, which helps with this, this week's show. I, actually, it's the reason why we're doing this week's show, to be fair. Uh, she's also a nurse. Big up. We've got nurses in our family, me and Sean. So uh, we definitely appreciate it. Uh, assistant researcher for football manager. I mean, the pinnacle. That's a great a great little thing to have. Um, writer at K-League United. Scout at the PFSA. And the media manager at Durham City AFC. I mean... Wow, that's a lot. Too lot. busy, if anything. Lots of balls, lots of strings there. You know, and then, like I say, she's she's topped it off by now becoming a kit head and joining talking kit. So, you know, you say, don't meet your heroes. She's going to tonight, and she likes to be now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll show up and I'll get her on so we can say hello. It is the wonderful Charlotte Patterson. Hello, Charlotte. Good evening. Hello, thank you for oh, having Charlotte. me, and thank you for the, the nice words. <laughs> I'll come back more often. Oh, that, that's, that's always nice. I'm not even going through the show yet, and straight away off the intro, she's coming back. I love it. Um, no, you're very welcome. Like I say, another great person from not only the football kit community, but also the just the football community as well. So, yeah, thank you very much for spending this evening with us. It's a pleasure on our side, for sure. Yeah. So how's everything going with you? Obviously, um, like I say, you, you must be so busy with everything going on. How do you find time to fit it all in? It must be, must be a lot. I just don't sleep, really, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I can I can vouch for that because I've seen Charlotte's tweets at you know ungodly hours, whether it's watching Orlando or whether it's watching like random like Asian League football. <laughs> up at all hours. That's how it has to be sometimes. How it has to be. Uh, so yeah, thank you for joining us. Um, we will let everyone know uh, this week's theme. Finally, it feels like, you know, after well over a year of doing full kit ranking, it's a league that we definitely should have dipped into by now. But I think we've got the perfect person to have on uh, to, to help us through these 10 shirts. We are finally looking at shirts from the J League. As you can probably tell I've got a lovely uh, Grand Passate shirt on and she around those behind me. Um, uh, Don, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Well, and the left, obviously. I thought, I, well, thought, I, thought, I thought, right, it looked like a, a 90s J League. And I thought, but the badge, nah, that, that is that is So you've let the side down straight away. No, I went for it. There's a there's a theme, colour theme, which I'm I'm hoping uh, okay. Charlotte would be encouraged by, because um, oh. I would consider the, uh, the colour... Purple is that a whippy a whoopy Goldberg film? Um, that is, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I think that's a, a color which uh, Charlotte will hopefully appreciate. It's, it's a ten I can't say much for counting. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> well, he dressed, he dressed up as Daniel's son before we started the show, so I mean, I was hoping you know what? <laughs> I've still got it. get it on. What's wrong with you? Wax it on, wax it off, whatever. Um, <laughs> Anyway, obviously, Sean's got county. He's representing his team. Uh, Charlotte, we've not done this for a while where we've gone around asking everyone. What, can you just let everyone know what shirt you're, you're sporting tonight for us? Yeah, I don't know if I'll be, be spoiling this one for, for later on. Okay, so like, no, no one knows. No. Spoiling what? I know. I don't, no one knows the term. What we even talked about, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, no worries. So yeah, back, so we're looking at ten shirts from the uh, J League, and we're kind of spread across the whole thirty years. 
uh, of the J League being in existence, uh, which is nice because there's been a lot of shirts, a lot of beautiful shirts, and I would say some some car crashes as well, which is you're gonna get as well. But we're here to rank them all. Well, ten of them, not all of them. That'd be a ridiculously long show, and and this show lot goes on long enough, as we all know. So, um, obviously ourselves and Jay from Retro. Uh, I have all ranked them. I've all got everyone's scores in and we've got our definitive list. I have to say, thank you so much, Charlotte. I've never seen anyone get back to me so quick with, with rankings. I'm I'm saying it was it was less than five minutes, which I've never had. Um, you know, I've had an hour before the show, Sean. Um <laughs> but never <laughs> never five minutes. So thank you so much. That was uh, it's a pleasant surprise uh for me. Um how did everyone rank in the shirts? Everyone enjoy the shirts? Everyone like the shirts, I guess? Crackers. Yeah, good eclectic mix, really. Especially from like different years and decades. Yeah. And and Dom picked them, so I'm guessing you loved ranking them all, Dom. No, I hate it. <laughs> I, was, I was ranking them thinking, oh no, what have I done? Because there was that much variety. I didn't want to be yeah. too weighted towards just good shirts because... Uh, J League has had so many good shirts, and seeing the evolution of uh, the shirts and kits over that course of that thirty years uh, was quite interesting. But uh, yeah, I purposely didn't choose only good shirts. So for me, there was a few definite bottoms, like a bottom three, maybe four, and then it got a little, little bit, di- a little more difficult uh, the higher up the list that I went. Yeah, no, I feel that, I feel that's fair. I think you can't just, like I say, if you was pulling ten bangers. Uh, it does make our job harder, but I think you need to have that nice mix of of of, of up and downs. You know, like like it is in every league, they're not always always winners when it comes to kits. Uh, but yeah, let's get into our little bit of admin before we even start any of the show. If, if you haven't already, be sure to smash a like on the video. And if it is your first time talking kit, maybe you talk kit all the time, but you've yet to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Why not? It is absolutely free. And we like it when you do it. So, you know, makes sense. And also, if you need to, uh, smash the bell notification for every time we drop content on the channel. But, yeah, let's get into a little bit more on the admin, the last bit of admin we've got to do. As you know, this show is sponsored by the lovely people over at Retro Football Kits. And I've not had to borrow anything this week because these are from both my collection. But they do have a lovely selection of uh, J League shirts which I've seen in their stock room uh, warehouse whatever you want to call it and at the moment they've got a 20% sale on site wide uh, just yeah you don't even have to put any codes in or anything like that everything is automatically applied on the website so yeah go and check out not only their J League shirts but the vast array of amazing shirts that they have that I sometimes get to bring home for an evening and contemplate whether I really do need to take them back uh, which I always do, um, just in case any of the bosses are watching. But no, yeah, go and check out uh, retrofootballkits.co.uk. They've got a massive sale on. Like I say, I said last week, I don't know when they're ending it, so it's uh, like a DFS sale. It's going, going, going. So they've got nothing left. Uh, but yeah, there we go. And Jay, like I say, Jay from Retro is one of the five rankers, although he's off screen. And I always read out his... Um, his his little words of wisdom or his opinions on the shirts. Uh, but if, it's your, if you've never seen Volkit Rankers before, let's give you a proper uh, rundown on the show, I guess, as well. So, yeah, we get 10 shirts from a league, from a team, from a player, from a tournament, anything like that. And then we each individually rank them 1 to 10. And then, like I say, I get all the scores. And, yeah, so if you score your t- uh, shirt at number 1, you get 10 points. Uh, sh- score a shirt at 10, it only gets 1 point, and that gives you different scores. I then calculate everything and it gives us our definitive list. Um, so, yeah, we'll get into this week's show. Ten shirts from the J-League in the last 30 years. Let's say there's one definite loser and one definite winner this week. And then all the rest are kind of just muddled in. It's not as close as last week. Last week was very, very close. And it's a little bit spaced out this week. So, yeah, number 10 on our list this week of J-League shirts from the last 30 years. Only getting eight points overall which kind of tells you it wasn't fancied a lot from our rankers. And it is this from 2015 anniversary shirt from Vissel Cobra. Oh, yeah, by the way, can I just say, some of these t- team names, <laughs> I'm going to Absolutely. So, um, some of them I chose specifically. I 
just to fuck you up. Yeah, I looked at him and I thought, he doesn't, he don't give, he don't give two craps about this team. Oh, this shirt, he's done it to wind me up. So thank you for that, dog. Um, <laughs> Charlotte, I'm happy for you to correct me anytime you like. I did plan to rehearse. Didn't get time today, so I do apologise <laughs> to anyone uh, watching this. I will butcher these names, so yeah, I apologise. <laughs> Uh, but no, Vissel Kobe from 2015, the anniversary shirt. Yeah, eight points overall. It, it was 10 on my list. Uh, do love an Asics shirt. Don't like that sponsor. Or oh, the shirt in general. I just don't think it's a good shirt. Don't like it. Um, and, and it's the worst of the 10 that, that, that we got this week. So for that reason, it's bottom. It's uh, bottom of the pops. Jay also had it in 10th place. And... He, he said pretty much saying pretty basic and the sponsor is too big, which is, you know, an understatement. Uh, going into the rest of the rankers that are here, we will start with, let's start with Dom. You had it in a ninth place, so not the worst shirt of the 10 for you. Um, what stopped it from being bottom of the pile? Just the other one pissed me off a little bit more. Um, <laughs> although, although this is horrendous as well. Uh, yeah. And for a, for an anniversary shirt, which I believe it is, um, I, I'm not sure what it was maybe harking back to, but obviously the sponsor. And is it is it Rakuten, the sponsor? Um, or just a big, massive record button? Um, just what, whatever it is. Oh, um, yeah, it is, it is not great. Reminds me of something like, um, like Swansea or something, like an away. Like I'm not... I don't like it. There's a there's a graphic within the shirt itself, which I don't know whether it's a bridge, and you can see it a little better on the other image yeah. uh, on the player, or it's elephants uh, going hand in hand. I can't, I can't it make it out. Lot, it does look a lot better. Than but then the, that's, the, that sponsor's the, still absolutely honking. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it's it's not great at all. Uh, with the bat, with their badge, I'm only saying it reminds me of another shirt, like from from a lower league team over it. That can knock County for me with that badge with yeah. the black the black and white stripe. Mm. Definitely could be a knock County knock County shirt. Uh, anything anything else for you, Don? On, on this one? No, other than the fact that Vissel uh, have have recently had some absolute bangers, uh, and this doesn't come anywhere close. Yeah, and it's uh, Bojan retired this week, was it? Obviously from uh, playing for Vissel, did he? I'm sure. I'm, I, I, hey, I the little bit of research I've done. I'll just see. I saw it on, on, uh, on Twitter. I guess. Um, let's go to Charlotte. We'll come to you I, again. Similar to myself and Jay, you you thought this was the worst of the ten. Do you know what the pattern is on that at all? Yeah, I think from the background it looks like the port of Kobe. Um, so it looks like a silhouette of sort of the the port in the the city in the background, but. Yeah, just like what you were mentioning, really. I mean, it was tough between this shirt and another one that we'll we'll go on to. But just like you said, for an anniversary shirt, it just is very lackluster, really. And I suppose you know when you think of black and gold kits, you know they're always done so well. I mean, I remember I think it was Kaiser Chiefs had one um, out a couple of years ago, and they're just they're so nice, so elegant. Whereas this one, I mean, whether it would be redeemed by not having the giant red Rakuten sponsor in the middle but it's just yeah especially for like what sort of don was saying really like Vissel kobe have really nice shirts um yeah. obviously i know this was some years ago but uh, very disappointing really given it you know was an anniversary shirt obviously it's nice sort of having the silhouette but it just doesn't really do it for me to be honest yeah <clears throat> and this image as dom as you'll probably know very similar to that the bottom bit very similar to the manchester United yeah shirt. From a few years ago, and that, that, that head, straight away, that, that straight away just makes me vomit a little bit in my mouth, but not so much where it's causing me issues. Uh, but one person who liked it the most out of all all five of us was Mr. GK Shaw. Uh, you had it eighth, but I guess that's just because there was two that were maybe worse in it for you. Yeah, I'm not a fan. He's doing his best, bless him, to make it look good. That shirt sticking his chest out. But yeah, happy. like like Dom said, the, the sponsors just. It just ruins it. It's it's like um like the Americans have like the age restrictions on the films R twelve, don't they? Or R eighteen. And in the short even even the shorts are even the shorts are spoiled as well with that one. 
on the bottom right there. Yeah, it's just yeah. it is a whole big car crash. Well, rated twelve, rated shit. This <laughs> one. Well, it's been rated bottom of the pile, rated 10th on our list this week. Uh, so, Vissel Kobe, the 2015 anniversary shirt, what they're celebrating, I do not know, but they could have done it a lot better. Eight points. I mean, not even double figures, which tells you it was not like. Uh, moving on then uh, to number nine on our list. And the first team that I'm going to absolutely butcher the name of. So, thank you, Don, for that one. Um, do you know what? I don't even want to say it because I'm going to swear, first of all. Uh, and I don't even know how to pronounce the rest. So, um, Charlotte, I'm, I'm definitely going to need to open this one. So, number nine on our list with 13 points overall. It's this, and it's the Abispa Fukuaka? No. I think, that's I think it's pronounced, fuck you, okay. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. You hear that a lot. Sorry, Charlotte, can you pronounce that for us so we know? Yeah, so um, you had it spot on for the, like, Abispa Fukuoka. Fukuoka. That was better than his. This wasn't spot on at all compared to that. With that lovely northeast lilt as well, yeah. that was delightful. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Walker. Fuck Walker. Walk walk Let's not start that because we'll be at it all night. And then she'll leave the stream and then we'll be in trouble. I've no guess. Um, but no, it is the 2006 home shirt. Mizuno, innit? You've got to love Mizuno. Um, and, and I enjoy Georgia. I've never been. Oh, actually, no, I have. Did a layover in America. When we went to America, we laid, laid over in Atlanta, so I have been to in, to Georgia. Not long enough to enjoy it, though, but, you know. Eighth on my list, by the way. These were shirts, but I like the badge. I like Mizuno. It's just not a great overall design. Uh, the little neck things remind me of last week's show and the 2002-2004 Nike template. The tattoos on the sleeve, not for me. <laughs> a bit warrior, a bit Liverpool yeah. warrior there. Yeah, a bit... A bit um, a bit football hooligan them. You know, they're sort of old school <laughs> looking tattoos. But over, not the worst shirt of the 10 that we've seen. Uh, let's go into our rankers then. And we'll start with you, Sean, because it was seventh. You know, again, you've not got it too low. But what was kind of stopping it going higher for you? It, it, I don't like any of it, really. Um, the, the only reason it's seventh is because, like, Three or four more worse. Well, three, three worse. Okay. Um, Mizuno, not a fan of their kits. Um, wow. Crest doesn't look. Crest looks out of place without the type of kit. It's just not very nice. <laughs> the na the name's good. The kit's not. All right, fair enough. <laughs> um, Dom, let's come to you next. And this was your bottom of the pile. Yeah, mate, I'm not I'm not a massive fan at all. Looks a bit uh, a bit Mac Town. Um and then uh, them tattoos as well. They've got a touch of one Wonder Woman and there was that Arsenal Puma shirt that had that graphic that was not too dissimilar across the chest. Um and for some bizarre reason, I instantly thought of being in music class in like uh, primary school and they had them tongue things that they would hit and they'd make like a vibrating sound in your ears. Uh, at least that's what they teacher told us it was um, but yeah do not do not like them i think the crest is pretty cool uh, but other than that yeah it's not uh, it's a bit it's a bit lower league um obviously mizuno have, have had some amazing shirts particularly in in j league as well so um just a bit of a disappointing effort on their part yeah no i i, I hear that mate it's not the greatest that they've had but you know i just love mizuno i have to say i have to i love it um jay had them in eighth place and he just says basic, but he, he likes the sleeves. Maybe he likes weird, weird blokish old school tattoos. I guess I don't know. Um, but no, he, he said he likes likes the sleeves. Then again, he's got a cat. I'm sure he's got a Simpsons character tattooed on his arm in a Chelsea shirt. So you know, he used to say he used to say what's good and what's not. Um, let's finish off with our lovely guest Charlotte, and um, he had it in ninth place. Obviously, I think you you'll know probably better than all of us. You know the the J League kits are, are very well known for having more creative freedom. The, the sort of brands just run wild when it comes to sort of designing shirts. Do you think? Obviously, this was two thousand and six, and and that time period is kind of known for lagging in terms of creativity. Do you think this was a victim of that? 
this shirt. Yeah, because I mean, I've got um, a San Frache one from the exact same season, and it's pretty much exactly the same, like a carbon copy, but in purple, really, um, in, in, you know, including sort of the sides. But yeah, I mean, it was a toss up, really, from this one and the Vissel Kobe one for sort of at the bottom, similar to what Don was saying. Um, you know, it's just. There's, um, when you were you know, talking about JD kits, obviously they are quite synonymous with being very vibrant and colourful and obviously this one isn't, it is just kind of your basic blue. Um, so I, I, yeah, it's it was a really tough one sort of between that and the Vissel one. I think it was just, sometimes you can't go wrong with, with going basic, which was why it did just slightly better for me than the, the Vissel Kobe shirt. Um, I don't really particularly like sort of the grey panelling that it has on the sides. Um, it just, it's, yeah, it's very lackluster. It it's kind of does what it says on the tin, but, you know, again, it's it kind of what sort of Dom was saying before, you know, um, when you look at J-League, you can sort of see the transition through the, the years and the decades in sort of the, the evolution of shirts, really. And thankfully, in more recent times, the Vispa's been a lot more creative with the shirts, but they did have a couple of seasons where they were quite bland and, and basic, um, which, you know, it's... It, it, I think J-League shirts for everybody, the kind of Marmite, you know, there's some that you'll like, some that you don't, because they are so, you know, eccentric and loud at times. So some people, you know, might really like this shirt, but um, for me, like J-League, I, I just love bold, loud, lots of colours. So, yeah, not not for me, this one. But I couldn't put it bottom because I have a friend who supports a Vispa and uh, they would kill me if I put it as 10th. So I hope they appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm sure. I'm sure they will. But there we go then. So number nine on our list. I'm not Charlotte. Pronounce it for me. I, I knew I was gonna. I was messing up. Again. You you were buzzing as soon as Charlotte said that. I was thinking he is made up that Charlotte said that because he had no idea. He was clearly lying. I, I don't think I said it that well. Um, a Vispa Fukuoka. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there it's we go. It's almost like a, a silent W, I suppose, towards the end, like Walker. Yeah. I figured. But yeah, um, there we go then. Number nine on our list, 13 points overall this week. Uh, moving on then quickly to number eight. It's another one. I, I know the first word, but I think Charlotte should say because it, it sounds a lot better. Kawasaki, Charlotte. I'm sure that sounds amazing in your your accent. And some of you probably get asked a lot to say a lot. Um, no, right, yeah. <laughs> well, no, Kawasaki is the second. Is it front? front to, I don't know. Front LA? I don't front. Um, so I think it's usually said like frontale. Frontale. I thought it was either one of the two. Front Kawasaki Frontale. There we go. Um, and then number uh, the 2010 shirt, uh, home shirt as well. <laughs> On our list this week, I'm butchering his name. He's had, he's had me over. Dom. He's absolutely done me. <laughs> uh, it's nine for it's nine for my list. It looks like a bit of a better Wickham shirt. I will say it. I apologise to offend anyone there. Um, yeah, not 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 for me. One thing I will say, and I, you know, I've never really come across a bad one. Just well, J League Crest for me are the, some of the best in the world. I just think they just look amazing. I think they all stand out. Um, and this is the same. It's not been one I've not liked so far. Uh, but yeah, eighth on. Um, no, sorry, ninth on my list. Um, Charlotte, we'll start with you, finish on, with you on the last one. We'll start with you on this one. Uh, seventh on your list for, for this shirt. Do you agree in terms of the, the, the crests on J-League J -League teams? They are, they are uh, yeah, cool. that's something as well as sort of the, the really, you know, crazy eccentric kits, the, the badges and crests, they really draw me in. Um, you know, so many of them are so nice. There has been sort of a recent change where, some clubs are trying to be more minimal like the rest of the world are so i know gambo um gambo osaka has just recently sort of changed their badge in the last year or two so it's now just a very basic g compared to where it was like a full-on you know crest and shield um so it, it does lo lose a little bit of charm for me but some people like the new one um but yeah i think obviously the the sort of the crest it goes with the colors um Kawasaki have actually got kind of um, somewhat of a partnership with Grêmio in Brazil, um, which is how they adopted the sort of the blue and black colours. Um, and I think it kind of, you know, again, it's it's similar to the the Vispa one where it is quite basic, but at least there's more 
to this one in terms of sort of the pat the patterns. Uh, obviously, you can never really go wrong with sort of blue and black in terms of colours. Um, again, it's just kind of for me, just sort of a, a basic J League shirt, but better than the the previous two. So that's why I kind of had it in in eighth place. Yeah. Eighth place. Um, I can't remember now. Seventh place, I think you put it in this one. Yeah. Um, Dom, let's come to you. Eight for you on on your list. What are you thinking about the front tie shirt? This is a bit much going on on the front yeah. tie. Um, it'd be yeah. There's um, there's at least a decent amount of symmetry. You dropped the microphone in that one. Then. <laughs> oh, and get away with it. I heard it. Don't try. I told you. Don't try. Um, yeah, often with, with shirts like this, you will find that, you know, there will be s some sort of synergy, but this kind of replicates across both sides really, really quite well. But it, it just uh, upsets me a little that the the kind of diagonal stripe doesn't go to the the corner of like the hem and the um, meat of the, you know, uh, where the line of the fabric is um but i think um there's there's certainly loads of bits to like about it the the sponsor i absolutely adore i think he's beautiful um i think you know for something um that flows really well as there's that many lines that are you know quite curvy across the shirt as well i think as a sponsor that that molds really well into the into the makeup of the shirt in its entirety so yeah there's there's that to like about it but yeah um didn't know the gremio fact and i think that's quality uh given the colorway um really like that uh i might have scored it a bit higher if uh if i'd have known yeah no yeah uh, exactly i was going off the wickham if it had fought Gremio, it definitely would have gone would have gone higher. Just going back to puns, also, you've absolutely ruined this episode for me this week, Don, for the fact that you didn't pick um, any of the Tokyo kits. The Tokyo... Is it SD Tokyo? Or... Anyway, one of the Tokyo teams, you didn't pick any of their kits this week, because straight away I wanted to... I had a pun set up. They oh, did you? About when I was talking about one of the, the kits, I was going to move on to someone else and go, do you catch my Tokyo Drift? And you've absolutely ruined it for me, mate. Hang your head in shame. Hey, so I think I've saved us all from that. No, you haven't saved anyone. You've ruined You've ruined the show for me this week. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on, anyway. Uh, anything else to say about this, though, Dom? No. No, you're moving on. Right, okay. Um, Charlotte, we'll come... I mean, we spoke to you, Charlotte, when you said you had it seventh place. Uh, Sean, we'll come to you because you had it in uh, ninth, similar to me. Why is that? Again, not knowing the Gremio thing, it was Wickham all over for me. Uh, just a little bit different panelling, um, which yeah. I'm not a fan of. Um, it just looks look a bit like a rugby shirt for me. Um, yeah. Collar looks a bit too wide. It won't sit well on me. Even though I won't be wearing it anyway. But yeah. Not really out there like the rest of them. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, we, we get into some more funky designs later on in the list. Uh, just finishing off with uh, Jay from Retro. He says, uh, where did he have it? He had it in sixth place. And he says, uh, nice colours, uh, panels and lines. So he's kind of a fan of it all. Um, but he had it in sixth place. But there we go then. Kawasaki Frontale, the 2010 Home shirt, 16 points, only coming eighth place on our list this week. Moving on to number seven, 25 points. We get a little bit of a jump now in terms of points. But uh, there's, oh yeah, Inamoto playing in it. Do you know what? This is, this is one set of um, pictures this week I really struggle to get, by the way. This is a last minute substitution because I realised looking at the shirt I sent of the player, it was the wrong God damn kit. I was going to tell you what I thought. You know I, 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 I think he's sick of me telling no, him. No, I need to be pulled up. And it's lucky I went through him again and I went, oh, shh. I had to go and get this one. Um, lovely gloves. If I'd have sent this one before, I'd, I'd, have, put, I'd have marked him higher on them gloves, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, in a motto, he's played for Arsenal. Um, so there we go. It looks a lot better. It looks a bit better. Oh, it's definitely got those sort of 2010 sort of Bit, I was going to say it? with that shirt as well, it's quite nice as a long sleeve because obviously you've got one that's black and yeah. the other side's blue, yeah. um, which I don't know, I, I quite like that. Um, I know um, completely unrelated to J-League, but Sport and Kansas City had a shirt that was similar where like 
sort of with the long sleeves it was there were different colors and I, I don't know i just quite like that so had it been a long sleeve, it might have been just slightly further up if i could have found one charlotte i'd have done it let me tell you but right. some of the shirts <laughs> horrible to find this week um but there we go uh number eight like i say kawasaki frontal number seven though it's the Uraro Red Diamonds, their 1999 home shirt. Uh, 25 points overall. Uh, for me, seven for my list. I think they've had so many better kits. Um, similarly, some of the ones that followed uh, United when they were at Umbro. <laughs> they had a lot, uh, some similar shirts to Manchester United. Um, they've had some really nice kits. And some of the night kits they've had, I think, have been uh, amazing as well. I like, I like the Dingo sponsor. The badge is cool. <laughs> nice collar. It's, what? The, the dingo. <laughs> the dingo, yeah. I was gonna, yeah, never mind. I, I was going to, yeah, never mind. Uh, seven for me then on, on my list. Um, everyone else kind of rated it as well, or middle of the road. Um, Jay had it in fifth place, and he said, simple but dingo, he said. <laughs> But didn't go. There we go. Uh, G, as always. Um, Sean, should we kick it off with you on this one? Go on, and you, you had it in sixth place. Yeah, um, I think it's the um, it's the classicness that got it up there for me. Um, it does look pretty plain compared to the, the previous kits, and I'm like you said, only just got it now. The United vibes, yeah, um, 94 95 season. Am I right? 94, 95? 94, yeah, isn't it? 94, 96 the, with the black collar. What with the nice. stadium in the background? Yeah, best United shirt of all time. Yeah. yeah, and I actually like that sponsor. Yeah. Am I right? It's Mitsubishi, isn't it? Is that the Diamonds? Yeah, Mitsubishi. Yeah, because right. they've, had, they've had them before, haven't they, Mitsubishi? But I don't know what a dingo is. What's dingo? Is that... So like I think it'll be like a variation of like a, a special edition Mirage. So obviously you had like Opal Corsa and there was a different European teams that had like a car manufacturers as sponsors. And then they'd had these really obscure references to like makes of like a Ford gear, for example. Um, you'd have like the, the, like the tuned bit. I don't think a dingo is, is the best possible variation, but yeah, I imagine it's just a, just a bit of that. Could have been a lost in translation thing, couldn't it? Yeah. Let's have fox or wolf on there. Here's one. Do glitches. Dingo. That's not a wolf. Ford Fiesta XR2. Yeah, that'd be sick. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Um, From my limited knowledge on J-League, Sean, I think the Red Diamonds are the Mitsubishi team. Because I've seen the badge, it says Mitsubishi. uh, Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Ruara, yeah, so I think a lot of a lot of the teams, quite a few in these Yamaha as well. Um, we've seen Kawasaki, uh, and Mitsubishi. Um, but yeah, moving on to uh, who should we go? J- um, Dom, let's come to you on this one uh, again, yeah. similar to the boy Sean, you had it in sixth place again. Is it you know a lot of familiarity with the United shirts? Can I say that? Man? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Do you know what? I've always had like a bit of a soft spot because there's often been a bit of synergy with um, like United shirts of old. Um, but this, for me, it doesn't like, I don't particularly like Puma and never really have as a manufacturer. But everything about this, if that was a, an Umbro logo, you wouldn't be surprised at all because it's got the, the kind of tartan features that like obviously we saw on uh, the sleeves for um, the Scotland 94 it's got that archetypal 94 united collar but then the england is it 98 like base here of the collar it's got the stadium in the tag at the bottom as well Uh, and then the little label at the side for me it just screen it screams umbo umbro and i've always always really liked their shirts as well um so yeah even despite the dingo uh, (laughs) uh, i I had to really like it plus the fact that um as a as a sleeve badge or as a league um badge itself j league has got like it's literally got to be up there with the best in the world and it fits into pretty much any of the shirts but this one it it you know more than most it suits suits the overall look of the shirt really really well yeah but for me for some reason i when i look at it i always imagine it's like it looks like a vinyl for some reason 
I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, the vinyl play or vinyl record even. Um, yeah. oh, so there we go. Uh, J, uh, J, I keep calling you J today. I don't know why. Um, Dom had it in sixth place. Uh, someone else, the third person on the panel of of rankers, uh, Charlotte as well. You also had it in in sixth place. Is this a diamond that shines bright for you, or is it not? Is it a bit dull? It's just in the middle, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's you know, obviously the, the old crest that's where it takes the name, sort of diamonds. And like you were saying before, um, a lot of clubs in Japan, um, they are all when they started playing football, they were all sort of company teams. So a bit um, like a bit like railways over here. Yeah. yeah, I mean, a lot of them were like cars or electrical goods. So, like, um, for a while, it was uh, Mitsubishi Motors was the name of the team. And then um, I think you had sort of Nagoya Grampus was Tio Tio um, Toyota, sorry. Um, yeah. San Frecci, I think, is Mazda. Um, and then, obviously, what we, we were talking about with Kawasaki before, obviously, that was um, sort of Fujitsu. So, like, all the, the goods, that you know, the, the teams, they all started off with the, the company brand names. And then, sort of, as they got on in the J-League, they started to lose those, you know, company imprints, whether it was part of their name or part of the, sort of, the badge or the logo. But, yeah, for me, with this shirt, I think it was... I can't remember. It might have been one of the first seasons that I started following J-League. So I, I don't know if there's a bit of kind of nostalgia, I suppose, there for me, which might be why it ranks slightly high. Um, but kind of like what we said, you know, it does remind me a little bit of like a Man United shirt. Um, I love the colour, um, which, you know, you didn't see too many sort of um, J-League clubs in the day would have sort of collared shirts. Um, but yeah, uh, just for me, I mean, yes, okay, it's again, it's quite simple and basic, it's just red and black, but it, I think it works well, it's quite smart. Yeah, ab absolutely, uh, I, I agree with everything you said. Also, I think it's the first ever official match day card we've had on the show as well. But... <laughs> Mate, you must have been struggling for images if you've had uh, to pull this out. Mate, let me tell you, I almost thought I I'm just going to do 10 from the Premier League. I, I, honestly, <laughs> trying to find because obviously, shout. I don't know if you. I like to have a picture of the shirt and then a picture on the player because, as you know, it adds something different. It's a different element. Not. Oh, but saying that, when we go through the show, not a lot of people actually look at them because they. Oh, I wish I'd have seen it on the player. Yeah, but I send you all twenty pictures. Anyway, um, yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I think it's. I think it's a nice shirt. Seventh, maybe a bit harsh on it. At, um, for me. Probably maybe put it a bit higher. I, I think I'm just going off that they've got, they've had better shirts, maybe, and it's not the best of theirs. But there we go. Anyway, your Red Diamonds, uh, the 1999 home shirt coming um, seventh on our list with 25 points overall this week. Let's move on then to number six. Um, 28 points overall, and Dom, the worst shirt you could have picked for the team because yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Why would you do it when they've got so many bangers that you would do this to me? It's, it's, I didn't want to make it too easy. I'm going to grab oh, yeah. And a 2002 away shirt. I mean, I've got one on now, which is 10 times better. Why couldn't you pick this? I mean, look at it. It's stunning. Um, yeah, 2002 away shirt, 28 point. It was six on my list. And the only reason I put it six, even though it's not the greatest shirt, but any shirt with that badge on, that's got a killer whale on it. it do, you prefer, do you prefer that badge or the one that you're wearing at the minute? I prefer the one with just the, the, the killer whale on it from the early 90s, to be honest with you, mate. One that Lineker was wearing, give me that all day. Yeah, right, I mean, yeah, yeah. that that was banging. And I do like this, if it's a bit more sim uh, simplistic. But even that that one on that shirt there, with the, sort of the, the badge around it and the NGE, it's nice and you know it's not the worst you know like Charlotte was saying the Toyota my shirt's got a little Toyota on, on the side well Cox Sport Eve you know very early not is one that you know you think of the, the best team they ever sponsored Harchester United they will Cox Sport Eve for a little bit <laughs> and Charlotte and, uh, and over that and you know they've come back recently with Nantes and stuff um, it's just not the greatest shirt of theirs is it really which is a shame Um Going on through to our rankers. Uh, Sean, let's kick it off with you on this one. Because you did have it in in fourth place. So you was like you was liking this one. I enjoyed this one. Um <clears throat> I like it how the um the Lecoq is in the centre of the collar there. 
Okay. Different. Um, again, the yeah. crest. I've always liked that crest better than that one. It just reminds me of FC United, the one you've got on, Aaron. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? It looks horrible. Not wrong with that. Not wrong with that. The Rebels. Um, I actually like the Joy Division style stripey thing going up from the bottom. Um, nice. Like <laughs> heat waves almost. Yeah. Um, and I like a black and red kit, to be honest. Yeah. I think the way the, the it's like well framed on the collar as well breaks it up a bit yeah symmetrical sponsor as well just adding that out thank you yeah thank you happy um, with fourth happy with fourth yeah no it's yeah it's not the best of those but I, I can understand why you've, you've, you've put it so high up um who should we go for let's go yeah Charlotte, let's come to you eight for you again do you agree with me that they've had so many bangers this this team that Dom could have really picked a lot, a lot better. <laughs> yeah, they've got some so many nice kids, especially from the 90s. Obviously, the one that you're wearing, and then there's another one. I can't remember if it was either from the season sort of before or after, but with Gary Lineker wearing it as well. And they even had like the tracksuits with like Arsene Wenger was wearing them, which just seemed so iconic at the time. And again, they're just so sort of vibrant. Um but yeah, I mean, for this one, you know, I, I do like it, like sort of what Sean was saying, I, you know, you can't go too wrong with sort of like a, a black and red kit. Um, obviously, the, the badge as well is just fantastic. Um, but yeah, again, it's just sort of, for me, when I kind of think of, of sort of JLE kits, it's just, you know, really bold and colourful and eccentric. So for me, it's, you know, it's it's a nice shirt it, and that's kind of just all it is to me, really. Um, you know, there's nothing necessarily, you know, too bad with it. Um, but for me, I just prefer things a bit more vibrant. So that's why it scored so low for me. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Jay really did like this, really. He had it second on his list. Um, loves the collar and the wavy lines. They're not too wavy on that. They're a bit dulled out by that of the sponsor and the number on there, which I don't think helps it at all, really. Uh, although the long sleeves are nice, keeping the white underneath. Uh, Dom, we'll finish up with you on this one, then. Uh, it was seventh on your list, mate. Again, it's just yeah. it's, it's just not hitting the mark, is it? It's not a Nagoya shirt you think of. But when, no, when that... look, they've had, they've had so many better. If anything, I'd, I'd have chose a different one. Um, they've had yeah, loads. you'd have thought that you'd thought that wouldn't you mate yeah they've had they've had loads but I, and it, it pissed me off a little bit the fact that obviously there's now there's so much disparity between what we see as a shirt you can get and then we see as shirts that players are wearing and do you know the way in which back panels are blanked out so is yeah. that the the numbers more prominent they've obviously done the same here um and i thought oh i don't really i'm not mad keen on that design but the fact that they even took it off was like wow well, now i'm really pissed off <laughs> um and obviously i think sean likes it because it, it looks like a hob that's been left on um on the <laughs> on the design um it's like yeah, an I think... induction cooker to me that <laughs> <laughs> that's what i meant yeah <laughs> um, but yeah, I think um, I think the color. I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not completely sold on. I think the red bit at the very top of it should kind of join, but could understand. Obviously, if that goes down any further, it's gonna become part of the Lecoq Sportif logo. So um, yeah, not uh, not mad keen, but looks a lot better in long sleeves as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, coming six on our list this week. Not the greatest shirt, but still getting a little bit of love from the rankers. Is Nagoya Grand Prix Satan, a 2002 away shirt, 28 points overall. Okay, let's move up to number five, middle of the road now. 33 points, again, a little bit more of a jump. Shirt from this season, one of the rankers isn't going to be happy at all. <laughs> and it is the Sagan Tosu 2023 away shirt. Number fifth on our list. Um, Four for me, I think it's beautiful. It's really nice. Um, to maybe what maybe one too many sponsors. I don't think they're needed up here. Uh, let let the shirt breathe a little bit. But yeah, colour's nice. I like the I like the sponsor. I like the badge. I like that. The very is it is it cherry blossom? I'm guessing in, in there, uh, which we've seen from a few uh, Japanese and, and J League shirts in the past. I'm a big fan. I, I like it a lot. It deserves to be. Definitely a little bit higher, I think, than fifth. 
Um, Jay uh, had it in seventh place, uh, if you want to blame anyone, uh, Dom. And he says, decent kit, bit too much on the eyes, though. Is it? I, I, I understand. It's it's because I imagine it's because the the sponsor is so blue against against the, the pink and the white, kind of hurt his eyes. And obviously he wears glasses, so he's probably hurting even more. So so you know, hurt his eyes like you don't don't want to be doing that. Um, Dom, we'll kick it off with you. We might as well because you had it second on your list, pal. For you, why was this the second best shirt from the ten? I just it's just joyous, isn't it? It's just nice. It's having a go. It's it's garish enough that it harks back to as Charlotte had said previous designs. Obviously, um, design in itself had had a relative lull, but now across uh, multiple continents, we're seeing people be a bit more adventurous. Um, and there is elements of like cherry blossom, which is synonymous with you know the region that I think you know is a nice thing to if it is pointing towards that. Uh, then then do so and i think obviously the the blue whilst that might be a little bit jarring against the the subtle like baby pink um i think they've, they've at least tried to tie it in with elements of the crest with new balance uh, that you know incorporating their logo in the same blue on the chest and on the sleeve patch as well and then uh, the sponsor as well not being you know too far off at least offers some semblance of um you know it matching across the entirety of the shirt and even with the sponsor overload we see those ones up near the the collarbone uh, it's not forced the manufacturer and the the crest lower down to like um much lower that we've seen um across a couple of shirts uh, particularly this season in j league as well so um yeah and i think it just makes me want to have an ice cream i just like the color <laughs> yeah absolutely I agree. Yeah, it might be something you'd buy in, in, in the shop, like those noodles that are, you know, all claim to be Japanese. It's got <laughs> really bright packaging and all that. And I'm a sucker for it. I'll buy them every single time because they're a lot better than pot noodles. But, so, um, but uh, it, does, it definitely reminds me of some sort of packaging like that. Charlotte, let's come to you on this one. Uh, and you had it in, you're similar to me, fourth place for you. Do you know much about, is it to do with cherry blossoms or anything like that? Are you, are you aware of it, what, where the design comes from on this? <laughs> I can't say I, I do, but um, because I would have said Cerezo or Sakura are more synonymous with cherry blossoms. But I mean, obviously, you get them throughout Japan, and I would hazard a guess that's probably where they're getting sort of the design ideas. Is obviously like the petals of the blossoms falling from the tree. But um, yeah, for me, I I, I really like this. Obviously, like what Dom said, uh, well, and yourself, you know, obviously the sponsors maybe if they were slightly different, it would you know rank a little bit higher. I mean. Obviously, they've incorporated it quite well, particularly with the collar sponsors, because um, that is something that a lot of people have been complaining about recently with J-League shirts, is as much as they're becoming quite adventurous again, there's so many box sponsors and they don't sort of, um, what's the word, sort of like mix in with the colour of the shirt. So what you'll see is, I mean, it was, um, I think it was either last season or the season before, uh, FC Giffy, who were in the, the third division, had this beautiful shirt and then had this just huge white block sponsor in the middle of it, which just absolutely ruined the design of it. Um, I think they got to the point where, you know, so many people had complained that they obviously offered it without the sponsorship, um, which was good, but it still had obviously all the other ones as well. Um, so that's the kind of the only downside really with J-League shirts, but I think it works well with this one because obviously the, the color sponsors are like kind of like the white box, which, you know, goes in with the background of the shirt. Um, and again, yeah, it's just really nice. I mean, New Balance, I think they've been working with Torsu now for a good couple of seasons and they've produced some really nice shirts. Um, so when I saw this one and the home shirt as well, are really nice, obviously, like what Dom said, um, sort of linking them in with the, the colour of the crest with the, the blue and the pink. Um, it's just, yeah, for me, a really nice shirt, something that I would probably buy and wear like during the summer months or if I was on holiday, just nice sort of chilled chilled shirt really i feel like you'd wear it and be nice and cool while you're sipping like a, a sangria or something on the beach you know yeah. absolutely. absolutely i i, I fully agree you know what i would like though just looking at this picture of, of the shorts and stuff if the shorts are in the blue of the sponsor i think that would look oh fantastic to be fair uh but that's just me being a little picky i guess sean we'll finish up with you on this one and yeah it's, it was Fifth on your list, you got it spot on this week. What were you thinking about Sagan Tosu shirt? 
It's a lovely shirt, isn't it? Um, yeah. Soft, soft colourings. Um, I've got an Alacranes shirt, similar. Um, and they have, they've got black on theirs. And I think if like New Balance was in black, or the sponsor was a little bit darker, I think it'd have been higher. Um, but yeah, it's a gorgeous shirt. Very bold, very brave. Very bold and very brave. I guess this will get a, not actually a thought this evening, but this will get a high night out rating for you? Uh, some nights, yeah. <laughs> Give it an eight. Right, so tonight. Tonight, then. So, not, not all right. Fun. Who's going out tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it seven and a half out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten, lovely. Got lovely. some Thank you. brown loafers on. So there we go then. Fifth one out this week. This season shirt, 2023. They're away shirts. Again, so to uh, 33 points overall. Right, moving on. And we've actually got a joint third. Two teams on 34 points. The first of which, we're staying with this season. Uh, I think this is the reason why Dom's wearing Andalect. Um, and it is this, the Kyoto Sanga uh, FC home shirt, like I say, from this season, 34 points. Um, fifth on my list, I just think the Sagan was better uh, for me and, and what I like. But this is a, this is a, a nice shirt. Puma doing some good stuff. Um, I'll let the guys talk about it more. But I think, you know, we've seen a similar pattern to the last shirt in terms of the sponsors. Mm. You know, um, but yeah, it's, it's it's a nice shirt, the two tone purple with with the sort of graphic from the crest within the shirt is it, really nice. Let's get into the rest of the rankers and, and see where they all placed it. Charlotte, let's start off with you. Um, similar to me, uh, you know, we, we were spot on again with our rankings, fifth for you on the list. Is it again those sort of sponsors above the the crest and the puma letting it down a little bit? Do you think? Yeah, I've, like I said, uh, just sort of the, the colour sponsors. I suppose for me, because um, I kind of, if I have a team in J League, it is Kyoto Sanga. I've, I really like them. Um, I've got quite a few of the shirts. I've got one behind me. Um, and I'm quite used to them being really, you know, eccentric in bold. Um, and for, like last season was quite a, a bland one from by their standards. So this season's I was much more impressed. Um, like you said, I really love the fact that they've incorporated like the crest and the design of the shirt. Um, the two tones of purple, obviously, um, sort of being symmetrical, sort of swapping them over on each side. Um, yeah, I just think it's just a nice sort of a good shirt. Obviously, it, it sort of adds something by having the crest incorporated into the design. Um, and I just love the colour purple, really. So can it go, can it go too wrong? No, absolutely not. Uh, I, I agree. Uh, Jay had this in, uh, you know, in fourth place and he says, uh, love the purple uh, and the half 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 design, which myself and, and Charlotte have both alluded to already. Um, Dom, we will come to you uh, again. Similar to Jay, you had it in fourth place. I think this was the first the first shirt on your list uh, that you sent to me of the ten. So, is it yes. is it one yes. you wanted on specifically, or just one that grabbed your attention when looking? Uh, well, a bit of both. I wanted specifically Kyoto Sanga on, uh, as I know that Charlotte's a fan and she's got a, a great collection of their shirts. Um, so I wanted to get her opinion on this most recent shirt as we were looking to give a bit of scope on 30 years of J-League shirts. So I thought best go with the most recent one of theirs. But yeah, I think um, it, it does really stand out as well. Um, and I think the kind of half and half, but the incorporation of the badge within the graphic um if it is that you're looking at like crease lines across a shirt whether or not it's on or it's off it's not you know inherently you wouldn't necessarily know for someone who's not as au fait with the j league as other people like you wouldn't necessarily know that that was the design it's one of those elements where once you might look a little bit closer you really start to appreciate those little not easter eggs but those elements that you didn't necessarily anticipate you would do so even though the template is quite plain um as puma as we have seen they've at least matched the collar and cuffs which for me is a massive thing but yeah it's, it's one of those where once you delve a bit more into it it gives you a little bit more and i, I like a shirt that you know uh, is willing to put out as it were <laughs> There we are, like it when stuff gets put out. Um, <laughs> Sean, finish, finish you on this one. Um, rate it the highest of the, the five of us. It's third place for you, so you've almost got, you pretty much got it spot on. Um, for you then, what was such a, 
such a nice thing about this shirt that you, you rated it so high. Well, it's not out there, but it's, it's classy, isn't it? I love purple. Yeah. Um, and again, on the, the full kit top, the full kit picture, black really works with that. And black I imagine shirt. him, yeah, sorry, yeah. And I imagine him with the that base layer being yeah. that a long sleeve, and I'd love it if it was a long sleeve. Uh, yeah, really nice. Yeah, sponsor's not too garish either. Did they used to sponsor Reddit. Sponsor. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, Kyle Theory. Yeah, they did. Yeah, uh, it's very that picture there. Looking at it, very Fiorentina, isn't it? Which, which makes you think of you know beautiful. Very Harchester. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, want to, I didn't want to bring him up again, mate, but, you know, <laughs> very, very hard. To, but just the black shot remind me, remind me of Fiorentino, and I think it's, uh, again, another crest just absolutely stands out on, on, on the shirt. It's, it is a really nice shirt. And like I say, it's finished joint third this week uh, in our list. Uh, 34 points, the second team to, to finish uh, joint third with 34 points also uh, is... Jabilo Iwata and their special shirt from 2019. You may see one of the people on the panel this this week wearing it. Uh, Charlotte didn't want to allude to it too much, which was fine. <laughs> no one, no one would have known. Um, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful shirt. It was third on my list. It's just everything I want in a J League shirt. It stands out. It slaps you in the face. It's saying, "Listen up! I'm from the land of the rising sun, and and this is what we're about." Um, I love it. I love everything about it. Um, Yamaha, uh, different designs going on. The badge. Uh, and Puma doing some wonderful stuff. Uh, let's get into our rankers. Uh, Sean, we'll start off with you on this one. Because this was your number one shirt for this week. Tell us why this is the best J-League shirt of the 10 that we were sent, or you were sent, or everyone was sent. Well, it was, um, it was the first impressions. It was beautiful. Second impressions, even better. Third impression, hit the mark. None of the rest did that. Um, I'm guessing there's a, a water reference there. Is that, yeah. Am I right? Yeah, it's got to be. I um, have so. yeah. Just different shades of blue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought it'd be obvious if it was, um, yeah. but it, it works. Um, love that the Yamaha is... Um, Boxed in blue as well breaks up the different waves. Um, yeah. And even in, on the um, the match picture as well, I thought I thought is it too garish? Is it too much? But no, it looks it looks even better there. Yeah, I, I like it. It's the, it's the same colour blue on the shorts as it is on the sleeves as well. So it's really boxing in that that central part and, and, and the look, uh, the designs. Um, Unique as well, isn't it? You're not seeing anyone yeah. like it. It's really, it is really, it is really, really nice. Um, Charlotte, coming on, on to you on this one. Um, again, similar, similar to myself. In third, third place, you put it in. I guess, obviously, owning it, it's a shirt that you are kind of fond of. Yeah, no, I really like this shirt. I mean, um, J League in in recent seasons, the not all clubs, but quite a few of them bring out what's called as like the summer edition kits um so sort of in the sort of may june july time you'll see quite a few sort of jilly clubs announce these and um the very kind of like limited edition the very they're just and a lot of them all have that kind of free reign really to go as crazy as they want on some of the shirts um which i you know absolutely love like this is you know what i've been sort of talking about throughout is this is why i like j league you know with the eclectic crazy eccentric shirts um you know exactly like what sean said you know like the colors all the different sorts of patterns and the designs it just works so well obviously i know it could be quite loud for some people but for me i just i really like it um and again yeah it's just it's one of those shirts that they sort of bring out um each year and the, especially jubilo they've had quite a few in recent seasons that for the summer kits which are absolutely spot on really nice i can't remember i think it was last season so i was trying to get it but just absolutely nowhere was, was selling it um but always such nice ones um i think there was sean and belmari as well have like a really nice summer one from last year um and it was in honor of of sort of the, the war against ukraine um sort of um with lots of sort of sunflowers and lovely like really nice vibrant design so yeah i love that because it's like yeah i feel like they get more 
you know whether it's the clubs themselves but just the sort of the go ahead really to just create a kit exactly how they want it as opposed to you know with like the home and away where they've maybe got to be a little bit professional but also still get that you know unique j-leagueness in it whereas yeah they can just go sort of full full wham with this one which i love yeah yeah absolutely um it's it, it's an absolutely special kit someone who's like the side down this week um i feel it's jay uh he's had it he put it in ninth place right? what? I, don't know how, I don't know how he's put it in ninth place um, and what two words did he give to describe his yeah, reason well he actually it's free mate so he's actually gonna uh, uh, above uh, above and beyond the uh and he said something that i used to say a lot in school uh in detention um pretty much every day when i got it too many lines um if you're old enough to know <laughs> <laughs> you used to get detention and you get lots of lines that's what i used to say it's obviously different not that kind of lines i meant like like bart simpson i must not i that's what i mean all right what school uh, did you go to yeah, yeah, well, you must you must not do those lines okay uh, well uh, don't don't know open shows rough uh let's just say <laughs> <that>. um <laughs> but yeah, yeah no one do them kind of lines we're not that kind of show um but that's what he's saying about this shit apparently there's too many lines uh let's finish off then with with dom uh, on this one uh he had it in fifth place um for you then, what was kind of not not hitting the right marks for you to get it any higher, mate? What was stopping? I, just, I don't like I don't like Puma, and I just genuinely preferred elements of the other shirts. Um, although it's not to disparage this by any account, because I think it's I think it's glorious. Uh, I think it's really nice. Um, it, it's obviously you've seen um, like Caversham United have got like a kit design contest on at the minute. This could easily be one of those, which if submitted, everyone would be like, "Whoa, that's amazing." Um, and I think um, it's it's all too often you can get a central band across the chest as a as a sponsor where it is and has to be blocked out, otherwise it'd get a bit muddled and a bit lost. Um, they've done this really well in adding those additional lines above and and beneath the block. Um, and I think my like literally my favourite bit about it is instead of it being a blocked collar, they've got the stripes in the collar as well which i think is just magical i really like that little bit of it more than any other part of the shirt absolutely yeah it's a really nice shirt I, I, one thing I, I did notice that i wanted to mention if you if you change the colors to black and green do you not know, think it could be a Sasuolo shirt from seria oh. it looks very similar to the, the sort of puma as well aren't they i think so Sasuolo, whichever anyway yeah there we go then um Number th uh, joint third on our list, 34 points overall. Uh, Jabilo Iwata and their 2019 special or summer shirt, as Charlotte has alluded to. Uh, I think it's a beautiful shirt, I really do. So, moving on to number two on our list, then, right? We're getting to the nitty gritty now. Two shirts left. Um, this one has 36 points overall. Beautiful, beautiful shirt, and I think this is telling where this list is going in terms of the scores, what we're trying to see. Uh, and what shirts we like from the J-League. So 36 points, second place, going all the way to the very start of the J-League, 1993. And it's uh, this shirt from San Frise, Hiroshima. Uh, and it's their home shirt. I mean, J-League. That's all you have to say when you look at this shirt. That oh. is J-League. That is J-League. Purple, uh, crazy pattern across. Mizuno again. But the, I like that M. I like that M when Mizuno do that. Um, Big fan. Yeah. Second on my list, it had to be second. Um, I just love J League shirts when they look like this. Um, obviously, the, the the name of the team on the shirt as well makes it even even better. Well, let's get into our rankers, and only one person had it outside the top three. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was Sean, and I, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Sean tell you where he put this shirt. Sean, please tell everyone here and everyone watching what number you put this shirt at for this week. I hope my internet don't go. Um, <laughs> can I just say, regretfully, guys, I'm really, really sorry. Uh, genuinely. Um, but I had this 10th. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I don't get... I, I, I mean, it's probably nice somewhere. Um, it I is. Don't I don't get the clock. Nice Personally, the clown colours for me. Um, <laughs> it's like 
Oh, just above the, it looks like a maternity top as well. Like we've got like above the Sam Frecky Fre- bit, the curve looks like it's high in a bump. Um, and and just like I said, the first, second, and third impression. First, uh, second, uh, third, I was like, do you know what? It's no, it's not doing it for me. Um, no better on the fourth. Nah, it's, it's, it's I didn't, didn't give it the time of day. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we'll move on then swiftly because um, I feel like we need to. Um, <laughs> Dom. I did apologise, though. Well, fine, I, hope you, I, hope you accept, I hope you accept it. You don't have to apologise. It's your opinion. Whether that's right or wrong, it's your opinion. And you stuck by it. That's all that matters. No flip-flopping. You stuck by your guns. and We can all love you for it, no matter how wrong you are. Um <laughs> Jay had it in third. Nice purple mixed with accent colours, which is which is spot on. Um, Tom, we'll come to you. Uh, third, third for you on your list. Same same as uh, Mr. Jay. Yeah. So this it's just it's just typical night is Jay League beautifulness, right? Yeah, mate. Look at it. Like, and I'm not mad keen on any kind of like V-necks or anything like that. But the colours, glorious. Even though that'd be giving ultimate like love rug vibes uh the fact that it ties in with the with the logo i think um it is joyous um the old mizuno like m is yeah. just the best version of it for me um i don't dislike any version but that's by far and away my favorite and i think the color scheme obviously it shouldn't work it probably doesn't but it just it makes it all the more like glorious for it it makes it all the more appealing or at least eye-catching and it kind of draws you in and obviously you've got that version of it there but the playing version as we've seen with a different sponsor does yeah. does kind of bode a little better for that maternity bump as well mm-hmm. um and it incorporates that that uh sponsor itself a, lo- a little better but yeah i think it's i think it's just um i think it's garish and it's beautiful uh at the same time yeah, so absolutely. typically, not just J League, but typically like nineties for me. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, um, this was one shirt I couldn't find um, a playing version of with just the San Frise name on it. I think it's actually a, they had the shirt with three different sponsors. Obviously, the name of the team, the Ford, and I think Mazda as well. If I'm if I'm correct in thinking, um, but yeah, this this is obviously one. It's obviously the the. The bottom right picture there, obviously, with the I can't remember the name of the team. Jeff United, and United yeah, United yeah. And Sabre. Mate, with the purple, purple shorts as well. Yeah. Oh Just yeah. Going yeah. Full hog, and I think it's got a degree of the orange design on it as well uh, on the shorts. Yeah. Which yeah. Yeah. Mega. As well, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Um, to finish us off on, on this shirt and the absolute opposite end of the scale to Sean, uh, Charlotte, you had this number one. On your list, so tell us why this is the best J League shirt in the last thirty years, or especially the ten that we gave you. Yeah, I think for me, it's just the the, the colours. I mean, this is exactly what I was talking about. Obviously, I absolutely adore purple shirts, but and, you know, it's it's like what Dom was saying. Like when you look at the top, and obviously all the different colours, oranges and the greens, and that you know they're not just sort of like a, a pale. They're you know full on vibrant, and it shouldn't work, but it just does for me. And I think for like obviously. You know, um, the, the league started um, in 1993 and the kind of all the teams just wanted to go out, you know, race out the blocks, you know, wanted to really sort of promote the um, the league and, you know, go all gung-ho with all these colours. You know, like, I mean, if you look across the board, all the teams in 93, they're just absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, obviously, we just pointed out there, like the Jeff United one, uh, that's something that's on my, like, list to try and get it's like nigh on impossible or if you can get it it's ex- like extremely expensive um but yeah they're just so amazing it's just yeah synonymous with j-league for me um just beautiful shirt i definitely think like the previous uh picture with the san Frecci works a lot better for me than obviously with the ford sponsor i mean maybe if this no i'm i was thinking you know if the ford sponsor was lower down would it work but i just think it takes away sort of the the glitz and the glamour away from that shirt but yeah for me it's just it's just t- typical J League, if you can can say that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and rightfully, you know, just missed out. I think just missed out. Missed out on top spot two uh, on our list this week. Thirty six points, San Frecce. 
Hiroshima and her 1993 home shirt, just like like we said, just absolutely J League gorgeousness uh, from this shirt. It means we've got one shirt and one shirt only left to go, and two points away from a full house. I'll just let you know. That's two that's what Charlotte's away. doing. From, <laughs> well, I'm Charlotte joking. is one of the. I'm Charlotte, <laughs> well, technically she was because the number one was obviously this shirt. Um, but yeah, two points away, and no one had it outside the top two as well. So that tells you it was only minuscule. And it is this. We're going all the way to 1996, and it's the Gamba Osaka 1996 Cup away shirt. Um, Gamba boy. I mean, it's, it's everything you need. Number one for me it had to be. Um, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. Oh my god, it's not even like. Because I'm sure, was it uh, the Gamba, uh, outside there with Mizuno at this time? Obviously, the cup shirts were just a deal, though. It's a different sponsor, uh, manufacturer altogether. Panasonic, the lightning bolts, it just fits in with everything uh, that is the club at the time uh, in the 90s. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's stunning. Had to be, had to be number one uh, on my list. Um, Sean, you had it second, though. Uh, obviously, you put um, Jamilo number one. Uh, so why did this not feel like it's best for you in terms of? I mean, it was close. Um, yeah, I'm getting Manchester Storm vibes from the '90s as well. Um, you were also, yeah. well, they 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 were manufactured by Adidas as well, weren't they? They were, in the 90s. Uh, right? They were, um, yeah. um, so nostalgia's taking over there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting Palm Palmer vibes as well. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. There's not much wrong with it. I like. There's not. You're right. The it's centralized perfect. lightning bolts, Power Power Rangers as well. There's a lot going on here. That's <laughs> harking me back to my childhood yeah. at times. <laughs> Apart from supporting United under duress. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you stop telling lies on this show every single week. I won't force you to support United. You wanted to. Oddly um, as well, the crest is quite low, isn't it? But I think you have to get the have... pattern. To get the pattern in, I think you have yeah. to. Yeah, well, but it makes so, it work. I'm so, I'm so sad they've moved away from Gamba Boy. I think it's just the best, the best crest that there ever is. A manga character is your, your crest is just unbelievable, and I love it. Uh, Charlotte, obviously, like we have just seen from uh, San Frecce, that was obviously number one, but this was number two for you on your list. So what was it that was just kind of, was, was it not enough purple for you? Is that what it was? <laughs> it, it actually is. Like, I just, I love the colour purple. Like a lot of the, the teams that I follow from different leagues, the, the whole reason that I kind of, well, not just the only reason, but one of the sort of drawn points for me is if they played a purple shirt, which is funny actually, because um, I actually quite, you know, Sean just mentioned it, but I like um, Parma Calcio and not Fiorentina in Italy. So which, you know, they play in purple. I don't mind Fiorentina, though. But, um, no, I think that was it for me. Just, uh, obviously, it was across the whole design, whereas, obviously, this one's it's incredibly vibrant. Um, you've got the top half, but then after that, it's just sort of all white. I mean, it wouldn't work the whole way through. And, I mean, it's still an amazing shirt. It's all right. It was a tough decision to kind of pick between the two of them, so there wasn't much between it. But, yeah, just exactly like we said, obviously, you got the lightning bolts sort of coming across. Um with it being Panasonic, I would imagine it would be a nod to with it being an electrical company and the electrics. So that's why we've got the bolts. Obviously, like you've said, you've touched on with the, the Gamba Boy sort of uh, crest. And then as well, sort of the colours of the shirt, obviously, the, they've matched that with the sponsor where you've got the purple and the Panasonic and then the yellow sort of outline, which goes exactly with all the bolts at the top. Um, and again, I just think it's something which is synonymous with, with J-League. You know, it's, uh, when it comes to like... J League shirts. This is probably the one that comes up most of the time when you search it, sort of looking it up. Um, and one that obviously just draws people into the to league because it just stands out. <laughs> absolutely, uh, absolutely. Jay again. He had it for number one. Uh, he said, "Come on now, this is just too good. Twenty out of ten. Uh, sadly, I can't give you twenty points. <laughs> I mean, it got enough anyway. Um, Twelve points overall, more than second place. Dom, I mean." You could have gone for the home shirt. Maybe maybe Charlotte would have put it through the one. But you had to go for the away. And I understand that. It's just it's just perfection, this shirt, isn't it? In terms of J League. It, it is. 
gorgeous um and i chose five home shirts five alternate shirts as well uh, just to give uh, some variation uh, and you're right as with um nagoya i could have chose different shirts um but this one like uh, like charlotte says this is the one which is best foot forward if you search jay lee shirts invariably this one will come up and this will draw people in um and, and rightly so it's it's really inviting um the the um sponsors really well incorporated looked brilliant there's the uh, yellow outline around it as well there's the bolts on the collar and then there's gamba boy which there's not there's not for me i don't really think there's a better badge out there um no. just because it's it's so it's so playful but yeah oh, come on um yeah and uh, it, another reason why i wore this shirt in that there's some similarity um but yeah i think it's i think it's amazing i think uh adidas with the kind of faded dotted uh detail or color as we'd seen on like the um what is it like the island 94 shirts as well um i think that's a really nice uh, really nice way to drop a color into a shirt as well yeah i, I agree with everything you said mate it's just can't you can't get bored of looking at it and you know some shirts yeah. I think it's one of those, if I owned it, it'd just be humble. I'd just stare at it all the time. At night out rating, Sean? 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. Uh, so there we go, then. Number one on our list this week. Only just missing out on a full house, which is a shame. Uh, 48 points. Gamba Osaka and then 1996. Cut away shirt. So there we go. I think a perfect, perfect end to what was 10 great shirts, whether you liked them or not. They had Prokin points each of them and as always uh my due diligence showing the shirts and everyone scores just so you know that i do not cheat and make it up and go along how i like um so there we go then this week's show is all done and our 10 shirts are finally completed so yeah thank you so much for checking us out let us know in the comments what you thought of the 10 was we right in our rankings and what you think should have been number one are any shirts that we missed out. We could always do a number two, I think, of, of um, J League shirts. Not a literal number two, Tom. Don't look at that. <laughs> I just mean a ep second episode of J League shirts. That's what I meant. Get your mind out the gutter. Uh, or the toilet, I should have said. Um, <laughs> anyway, well, yeah, let's thank our guest. Uh, Charlotte, thank you so much for, for coming on. It's been it's been wonderful to talk kit with you and also to learn a little bit more about about the j-league as you can tell we know nothing at all um so thank you for that and yeah let people know where they can find you and, and what you've got if anything coming up yeah um just mainly on twitter really um which is at kirby hazard all one word it's there just down there um and yeah just so i can probably bore you to death with loads of tweets about um you know whether it's j-league football or even more niche Asian football leagues like Bhutan and Nepal and Laos and <laughs> just very random places. So if that's something that interests you, then feel free to, to follow along. Yeah, make sure you go and do You won't be disappointed, let me tell you. Um, Dom, thank you again, as always, for um, us coming on, first of all, picking the shirts as well, and also trying to make me look like an absolute idiot without <laughs> any help, really. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, what's going on? Where, where can people find you, as always? And stuff like people oh, well, still just always in and about Twitter and Instagram um, and approaching people for guest slots and always looking to get people on who are as informative uh, and knowledgeable as Charlotte to expand our you know, knowledge uh, and also um, you know, get in touch with other people uh, and extend our networks as well. So, yeah, more than happy to carry on doing that. And if I can trip you up with some dicey names along the way yeah i could i could see your face i can tell you <laughs> hey, you know someone has, someone has to be the fall guy i'm happy it's me but go on. um speaking of fall guys sean as always thank you very much for joining fun. us come and play again hey you know my channel it's my channel no, it's your channel just as much as mine i mean i, I sounded really demanding it's my channel i was like no <laughs> um yeah please start filming when you go to charity shops as well we need we need that footage mate you're not doing it no. sponsor me a gopro <laughs> oh. no. well, go if you want I've, to, I've got one you can borrow that's fine i did um i did start filming but yeah. there was nothing worth showing last week do you remember when i went to ashton yeah yeah oh bernardo's that's it 
Yeah. <laughs> it was bad. I found a Burnley shirt, but it was personalised and I was like, mm, not, not for me. Though. You know, we can always, as much footage as we can always make it into one long episode over a couple of weeks. Don't worry about it. Uh, anyway, go and follow Sean. Go anyway. and follow Don. I make sure you follow Charlotte as well. You can follow me as you, as, as if you want. I'm, I'm always on Twitter. So it's all in the bio. Everyone's links. Go and check everyone out. Subscribe to the channel. We would like you to do that so we can grow and be the best because we are making the best content for kit fans. Uh, like this video as well if you haven't already. Drop any comments you like. Uh, we will be back soon with more full kit rankers. And definitely for sure, this Sunday coming, there is a Desert Island kit coming. Um, it's a special one. It's a special one. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, but no, yeah, that's coming on Sunday, the new time for Desert Island kits as well. So be sure that you're watching that. Thanks for joining us as always. We're going to close the doors to the rank bank. And as always, whatever you do, just make sure that you please keep talking kit. Thank you.